Hello guys, well, welcome back. So in the previous video, we installed route, um, remote access and then we configured um, routing and remote access. So in this video, we are going to look at how to make sure the users can successfully log on to the server through VPN and connect to the network by um, configuring NPS. Now NPS is a component of routing and remote access. So once you install the remote access role, it comes with the NPS Role. So let's go to tools and then we have network policy server. Network policy server. Now you can use NPS to actually configure NAP. NAP stands for Network Access Protection. And what it does is it allows you to allow access to your network based on user configuration settings. So if the user system meets certain configurations like VIP, um, like firewall enabled, the Windows is updated, antivirus installed, and all that, then the user will be allowed to connect. So you can create health policies that will check to see if a user meets the requirement or not, and then allow or deny the user access to the network. You can also use NPS to configure radius client and then radio servers. Radius, like I said in the previous video, stands for remote authentication dial in user service, and it allows you to centralize the management of user authentication to your network. But today our interest is on the policies. So expand the network policies. Expand policies. Now when you expand policies, we have connection request policies and then we have network policies. Now let's check the network policies. You know, I already had this setting, so I'm going to remove it and then we'll go through it again. Now in your system, you are going to see these two policies there. One, the first one says connections to Microsoft Routing and Remote Access Server. It's been enabled and it is the processing order, it is number one, and then deny access. So what this means is that no user will be able to log onto the server through um, VPN connection unless the user's dial-in properties is changed to allow access like we saw in the previous video. Now this will be a waste of time if you have 100 users means you have to go and enable their darling user properties one after the other so it's better we create a policy here that will allow them now to do this i would want us to first create a group for our vpn users so that all vpn users or users who will be logging onto the network through vpn will be added to this group so i'm going to go to tools and then add active directory users and computers and then i'm going to um, click on the domain right click and then new and then I'm going to create a group I'm going to call this group VPN users and then click OK and um, I'm going to add members to this group so first I'm going to add the administrator so members add I'm going to add the administrator so check names okay and then I'm going to add my other user, West Dyke. Check names. Okay. Apply. And then, okay. So there we are. I have a group, a security group with two users in it. With two users in it. So now this is done. So now I can come back to the NPS. So to create a new policy, we have to right click the network policies and then go to new then the policy must have a name so we are going to call it vpn dash connection so that's going to be our policy name then we have to specify the type of network access so i'm going to drop this down and we want to set it for remote access server vpn or dial up then i click next then i need to specify conditions what should the server look out for before it applies whatever policy we are going to set up? So I click add. Then it says Windows group. So you can decide to select what type of Windows group the computer should be in or machine groups, the ma machine level configuration. But we can have user groups because we created a user group. So we are going to go with the user group. So I click add. There are other options here. So many of them. But then we just select the user groups, click add. And then we will need to specify the group we wish to add. So VPN 
and then check names vpn users okay and then okay so we are saying that if a user is connecting and the user is a member of vpn group then the next thing is we click next what should be done okay allow or access granted so if a person is connecting and the person is a member of the vpn group the persons should be granted access or we can select this option access is determined by user dialing properties remember we checked the user dialing properties it said um, control access through nps so when we select this then means we now have to go back and then go and allow access on the user dialing properties but once we have selected the user group and we've granted access that is it so we click next then the authentication protocol that is going to be used is the ms chap version 2 is the most secure protocol so we are going to leave it as it is and then we'll click next then we can specify other constraints like idle timeout um if someone is connected and then the person is not really doing anything on the organization's network how long should the network stay idle before it times out we can have session timeout how long is a person the maximum number of time that the person is allowed to stay on the network when he is connected we can even have day and time restriction to specify the number of day um the days that access is permitted and then the time within the days that the access is permitted so if we don't work on sundays then someone should not be able to log on to the server through vpn on sunday so we can specify all that these are going to be based on your discretion as an administrator so i'm going to leave all these as it is and then click next then we have the um, PPP, it has to do with the configuration, you know, whenever you are connecting, it is um, connections, normally dialing connections are made possible by PPP. So we click next from here and then summarize everything so now we can click finish. So now it says that um, this policy, when you check mine here it says that the processing order is number three so even though i have done this it won't work but if yours stays at the top that is great but if yours is at the bottom as mine is at the bottom then we need to move it up so right click on it select move up and so it has been moved up one level right click on it again move up that has been moved up a second level so the processing order it is now at number one so when the server is processing the policies it will first process this when it sees that users are allowed it's going to process it and then allow the users if the other one comes up then even though this policy says that the users are permitted because the other one was processed first and it says users are supposed to be denied it won't check the others so this is how you configure nps for vpn connection thank you for watching subscribe like, share. In the next video, we will look at how to configure the client to be able to connect to the server through VPN. Thank you for watching.